So I don't know how to start this video, but you know how every week we seem to have these uh, celebrities out for, well, her preferences in the terms of the political arena. And I understand anybody can have their own preference. Anybody can vote for whoever they want. That is freedom. And you know that one of my most important values is freedom. And that's okay. But uh, there, we have Ben Stiller. And um, Ben Stiller is uh, one of my, I could say, favorite actors. I uh, There are two movies that I really like about him. One is um, The um, Secret uh, Life of Walter Mitty. I always recommend that movie. As, um, it's a nice movie. I like it a lot, I have to say. I, I rewatch it like ever, once every year. I really like that movie. And the other is, uh, you might remember, uh, Tropic Thunder. One of my favorite uh, satire movies of all time, and which I I doubt it would be made today. It could be made today, but not without heavy backlash, including the use of the R word and the um, uh, Robert Downey Jr. and in full blackface. In both both things are from the same character. It would be interesting, but again. Uh, ben Stiller was in this call, uh, comics for uh, Kamala, and uh, I notice again, he's completely free to do as he pleases. In fact, he donated 150k to Kamala's campaign. And what I noticed is that his body language was a bit odd, like uh, he was not really engaged in what he was um, saying. We're going to watch the clip. You're going to watch it and try to get a, a, a like a, a sense of the feeling if you when he especially when he says that he is excited how do you see him just take a look at him he's got to get out and vote and donate um and she's also a, a historic candidate you know it's going to be the first woman president um and that's incredibly exciting and you know She's Indian, she's black, she's everything. You can be more than one thing. It's incredible. You know, I'm Jewish and Irish. Um, I wish I was black. Every white Jewish guy wishes he was black. Um, you know, it's just get out there and, and, and vote and donate and like take advantage. This is such an important time right now. And this, this, with this wave of energy that's happening, we got, got to keep going with it. So please do everything you can. Okay, we, we are maybe use that Ben Stiller in most of his uh, characters. In fact, in The Secret World of Walter Mitty or in the movie Meet the Parents or uh, there's something about Mary. I had forgotten about that movie. This is classic movies that, uh, well, yeah, would be very uncomfortable for today's sensibilities. He always plays this taciturn, awkward guy. It's like he's playing himself. Um, there's a, I think this, uh, my, my novia Polly, my girlfriend Polly, there's another, um, he always plays the same character. It's like he's playing himself. And th that is the battle language that we are seeing here. But again, I cannot help but, but, but notice when he says that he is incredibly excited, he doesn't really feel excited. Let me see. Uh, that is here. And she's black. She's everything. You no, it's back. It's, it's a bit I'm earlier. Be the first woman president, um, and that's incredibly exciting. And you know, yeah, when he says that, it's incredibly exciting. Uh, his uh, facial expression really doesn't show it at all. I'm going to go back, but without sound, so you can see it in slow motion. He's going to say, "Incredibly exciting," and he, well, he is. Uh, uh, he, I could say that even the video has low quality. No, he's not very engaged with the expression. Maybe he's plain, so to speak, himself. That is the way he speaks. But there's another thing that he mentioned how Kamala is so great just for the fact that she is woman, that she's black, as in, and she's Indian. And those three statements are true. I, that, that's, that's undeniable that she is biracial and she has, uh, uh, her father is from Jamaica, that's the black side of uh, uh, her family, and her, uh, her mother is Indian. Okay, that is, but I, I'm okay with that. 
But what I have been trying to ask over and over again on, on especially on X, is I would like to know why people are going to vote for Kamala. Like generally asking, why are you voting for Kamala? I would like to know and what are their concerns. Some of them, I, I have to say, glad, I, I'm glad that some of them have answer in polite ways. Maybe they are concerned about topics like uh, yeah, inclusivity, abortion. Uh, there is also the gun control. And it's, it's nice when at least I get a polite response, which has been really hard. Uh, because usually the answer that I get is orange man bad. And that is usually the, the things that I ask people, try to answer in a way that doesn't include orange man bad or Donald Trump. And it's very hard because they all say, well, we are going to, we need to do something about Trump. That, that is not really the reason why you should be voting. You should be voting because you believe that your candidate is going to do something for the country and you should be clear about that. And so far, we don't have the information in uh, Kamala Harris' um, page, website, what are her policies. I hope that once uh, she already picked uh, Tim Walz for, uh, as, as her uh, VP, we're going to have more information on that. But so far, we can just extrapolate the policies of the uh, Biden-Harris uh, administration to into the future. And that's what I see that is so vague, the way that uh, Ben Stiller says all those qualities, uh, all those Kamala qualities, uh, I would like, I would love to, 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 to know what is all that about. And I see him like trying to make an effort about this and even going as far as saying that, well, I'm Jewish and Irish, and he says, I wish I was black. He literally says that, I wish I was black, and goes the extra mile, right? Every white Jewish guy wishes he was black. And you, you, see, you see his, uh, his expression, I am worried, because in this, uh, in this body language observations that I see, in this case, I see that, okay, you can have your opinion about that. But the way that I see it, looking away, like in this case, every Jewish guy, every white Jewish guy wishes he was black. He looks away. And there's this tension in his uh, jaw. I can play the clip again. and You can just watch it without sound. So you can, like, absorb the battle language, but without sound this time. And... Uh, you can see that he was more or less uncomfortable. I don't know. Maybe I, I can. I want to give him the benefit of the doubt. I, I would not be as cynical as to say I'm going to just discard Ben Stiller because I, he has a political opinion different than mine. That that would not be fair, especially if he. I can acknowledge that. I have been entertained by Ben Stiller many times throughout the years, and I I am thankful for that. But at the same time, I say, um, why does it look like he's doing that something part of Hollywood's contract? Like he was forced to do this. And again, I'm I, I really want to give him the the benefit of the of the doubt. It's I I don't feel it's fair. It's like having my political opinions. I know that many of you were used to, to uh, the battle language guy or Jesus Enrique Rosas just, just not having a political opinion, being unbiased. I would not want to be discarded just because I have a different political opinion. Maybe my political opinions are formed because of my experience and I try to explain about it. I try to explain my, my, my thinking and my decisions so you might have tools that can serve you to make your decisions. I have said this many times, is if I give you critical thinking and tools and you decide to vote for Kamala Harris, go ahead. That is, that is your prerogative. That, that is your decision. But there must be a reason why you want to do it. And people must be aware of... Uh, Kamala Harris uh, projected 
plan for America, and especially what uh, Tim Walls has done for Minnesota, which uh, I already made a video about that, and you can watch it on my Model Language Guy channel, which is a bit enlightening uh, about what could be his plans as VP. So again, I, I must uh, say that I'm a Ben Stiller fan. I cannot criticize someone for having a political opinion different than mine. I am afraid of socialism, of course. I, I, you know that I would not tell you to vote for Kamala Harris, but that is your decision. But in this case, I wanted to mention this video because I, I really don't see that he's uh, convinced of what he's saying. I've seen other guys much. I saw, I think it was uh, uh, Nick Offerman. Uh, that's, yeah, he, 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 he looked more, much more confident about that. But this, uh, this, this looked really forced. I just wanted to mention it, but I would like to know what is your opinion in the comments. My body language buddies, my name is Jesus Enrique Rosas. I'm the body language guy. Much love and bliss.